All right, Aries, welcome to your love reading. Um, so this is a general timeless reading. Whenever you're finding it, it's meant for you. I'm going to try to avoid pronouns in this reading so that it is more inclusive. Um, and I'm going to do that by using these love oracle cards. So I'm going to read from each of them and then I will call each person in this relationship situation by the names on the cards. And that way we don't have to worry about he or she. So it's up to you to intuitively know which one is you and which one is the other person. Okay, so let's get started. First we have Gala Dolly. Everything in love is invention, soar over the ordinary. Yeah, this person is very non-conventional, okay? Um, I feel like they have a lot of colors and textures in their clothing, in their home. Um, just that, like, you might be able to say that about their personality, that it's very colorful and textured. Um, I feel like this person is extremely unique and has some sort of... Um, unusual way of speaking even. I feel like the way that they speak has a, an unusual rhythm or pattern to it or just something very distinct that, that um, stands out to people. It is by being in the shadow that one emits the most light. Um, this is a person who isn't afraid of difficult things, difficult emotions, um, difficult subject matter. You, um, If this isn't you, you may actually admire how this person, and if it is you, people admire how this person is able to talk about things that are really um, taboo or difficult or avant-garde or strange. Um, there's this kind of like otherworldliness about them but not in a fairy way like in a very um it's artsy <laughs> and be immortal rather than available um yeah so i feel like this is also a person that isn't very well, they're not very available. Um, they're kind of elusive, which goes along with their personality, and they can get really absorbed in their work or really absorbed in like whatever pulls them in a different direction. This is someone who could disappear to a commune for a couple of months. This is someone who has um, just different rules governing them than other people. And then for the other person, we have Plato. Very interesting. This is a very um, like art and philosophy connection. Um, so with Plato, this is favoring, this person favors intellectual stimulation, probably um, like very, very interested in conversation. I can see why there's an attraction between the two of you because there's so much to talk about. Um, the, even though like maybe your values or the way that you look at the world or the way that you qualify and quantify the world are different, there's still a lot to talk about. It says, at the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. Um, so this is where the the softer side. I'm getting a lot of Gemini actually from this card. So if this isn't you, or maybe this you have your Gemini in your Venus is in Gemini, perhaps you're in Aries with a Venus in Gemini. Um, but this is like you know having or your Moon. Sorry, this is like having two very different sides of yourself. Like there's the the stoic communicative side that likes to be logical and then there's this like poetic side and I feel like that's not the side that people often know. It's sort of the hidden side. Love is simply the name for the desire and pursuit of the whole. Um, that's a very Aquarian thing. So definitely like a lot of air energy in this card. You know, again, that could be, you know, their rising moon or Venus signs. I'm getting a lot of like moon or Venus here, but yeah, there is this like 
I guess like I would say that while this person goes and pursues things that are on a like a kind of personal whim and there's like a a sort of activism in that like accidental activism <laughs> I want to say this this person is more aligned with like it being overt, overt humanitarian activism, um, keeping in mind like things in perspective of the whole. The madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. Um, so this is someone who is very romantic actually, surprisingly romantic, and I feel more romantic than the Dolly person. So from now on I will refer to each person as um, Dolly or Plato if I refer to them at all. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. There's a sort of magic between these two. I feel like the Plato Plato comes into Dolly's life in a time that is that is quite painful and quite difficult when they're closing out a cycle of um, struggles. This could be a cycle of difficulty with mental health or financial difficulties or just um, an idea or a situation. I'm hearing someone's finishing a PhD, so. Um, the yeah this this um plato comes into dolly's life in a time when they are experiencing a tremendous amount of pain but they're coming to the end of that okay it's the end of a cycle of difficulty the um plato person sees dolly as a wish come true a dream come true. This is exactly what they've been looking for. This is where that inspired poetry is coming from. Um, they are very excited by the arrival of um, this Dolly person in their life. They, It's like they dreamt them or they wish them into their life. And with the Queen of Wands, it's that both of you, like, manifested each other. Both of you asked for each other. Both of you asked for a person that was like um, each of you. And so this is what's coming in is this like excitement that it's like I found you kind of thing. But let's keep going and see. <laughs> but let's ruin. <laughs> Let's ruin this beautiful picture. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's uh, qualify <laughs> the Ten of Swords. We have the Tower reversed. To, to clarify, the, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and... <laughs> For the Nine of Cups, we have the Lovers. Okay, so I can definitely tell whether you identify with, if you identify with Plato here, um, you are the one who is just like, um, I feel like it's love at first sight for you. Um, so the Plato ex person experiences this love at first sight, you are my you are my wish, you are my dream come true. Things are more complicated for Dolly over here. So there's um, this tower moment that has yet to happen. So something has still not come to a full close for them. There's still more to... There's still more to know. It's almost like to close out this cycle, there's another epiphany that Dolly needs to have in order to fully recognize or recognize this relationship or recognize um, this could also indicate that for the um, maybe I'll call I'll call them no for Dolly. 
It just sounds weird in my accent. I feel like it doesn't sound right in my accent. Um, there's this, this may be a distraction from necessary transitions, from necessary lessons. So, um, and it's very tempting because Plato is expressing so much love, is expressing this like, you know, you're the love of my life, you're my wish come true. Um, and while Dolly is experiencing, you know, the, the magic that's between them and there's a lot of like lust, there's a lot of attraction, this is a very sexy connection. Um, this is also indicating that there's some kind of work that still needs to be done for Dolly before they can fully appreciate or realize this relationship. And over here with Plato, we have the lovers. I, I feel like Plato here is more, is open to making difficult choices, is open to leaving things behind in a much more profound way than the other person. Okay. So, um, you know, with the lovers, there's like, you know, a difficult choice that needs to be made. There's something that needs to be um, left behind or walked away from in order to choose this love. And our Plato poet friend over here is ready to is ready to do that, is ready to make those sacrifices because they're just like, oh my gosh, like I found the person. I found the person for me. In this space between, there's this difficulty balancing, and I feel like there's work. Um, and again, I'm really feeling like it's on the part of this Dolly um, person who is struggling to balance work or these things that um, call to them. You know, it could be it could be another person, but I don't feel like it is. I feel like if it is another person, it's someone in their past or it's letting go of their past. But there's this delicate balance here. And I feel like because they're coming out and, and starting to break a cycle, um, if this relationship moves forward too fast, it's going to disrupt that balance or it's going to take time away from projects that it need to be taken care of. The other message I'm getting here is that the Plato person may be jumping the gun on this. They may be, um, you know, wanting to abandon things that aren't yet ready to be abandoned. You know, there may be still some, some things that need to, to close out in order for that to be a smart or good move, you know? All right, let's clarify the Ten of Swords, and I'm wondering how I can show this to you so you can see all the cards. I've been playing around a lot with angles and things like that, and it's just really difficult to, to know. Just a moment. I mean, this is easier for me. All right, let's... I keep wanting to say qualify. Is that something for for one of you? <laughs> I mean, probably for the Plato person. So if you are Dolly and you're wondering, does this person, is this person into me? The answer is absolutely yes. <laughs> absolutely yes. This person is very much into you and they, they're ready to just drop everything to be with you and to give you whatever they have. So we have the Four of Pentacles to clarify reverse to clarify the Ten of Swords and the Tower. The Page of Cups for the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups reversed. Okay. With the Four of Pentacles reversed, I feel like there's um, the Dolly person in this relationship does not feel stable enough to sustain this relationship and to put things into this relationship like time, money, commitment, whatever. 
Um, there, there just isn't the space for that in their life right now. So while there is this connection and there's a really sweet appreciation and love, this could be friendship. So you may, maybe you are friends. Um, there's really only, this person can only seemingly offer that. Um, there's still things that they're holding onto from the past and this tower moment that needs to happen in order for them to close out this cycle of um, difficulty. So whether it's, you know, a depression, there may be um, therapy or um, work. I'm getting for them that there's work. Like if they're an artist, there's like, there are pieces of art that they just need to create that they need to create before they can start to give to this connection, before they can feel stable and safe in this connection. This is another aspect here as well with the Dolly person is that they may not feel um, fully safe in this connection, um, not because of this person, but because of past experiences. And then when we move over here to Plato with the Three of Cups reversed, um, this is an indication that you know, moving forward, there's some kind of celebration or triumph that they don't really get to have, okay? Um, I don't feel like Plato wants to be friends. I don't feel like they want to, to have that relationship. I feel like they want to have um, a romantic connection here, and they're not going to take the friend option. So if you are the Dolly person, that's something to know, is that this person is not going to respond well to an offer of friendship. To them, it feels like a rejection, and because of the amount of importance they place on Dolly, it's, it's going to be very difficult for them to maintain that friendship. But I do see between you is this sweet you know, page of cups, innocent, loving energy. So whether this person is able to maintain a friendship or not, um, there's still this, or whether this person is able to be in this relationship or be in a relationship or be what this, you know, what Plato wants, there's, um, there's still this sweet love and connection that is, that is available to both of them if they're able to navigate that space. So what I'm seeing here and what would need to shift and change is first that the um, Dolly person goes through this tower moment, okay? So a tower moment can be a big epiphany, it can be a big shift in one's life, it can be a big change in one's life. Usually it's something that doesn't have a strong foundation falling apart or some sort of breakthrough. So when I said therapy, this would be like a breakthrough in therapy where they're able to recognize, you know, what exactly is being triggered in them when they are in a relationship that they really fully wanted, but they can't fully be in, right? So that could be an issue that's being worked through here. But this tower moment is absolutely needed in order to strike a balance between what um, each person here wants and needs. Okay, the other thing that has to shift is this being open to to building something and and um, and letting go of the past, letting go of past hurts, past jealousy, past insecurity, whatever this is, and starting to open up to the possibility that this could be a relationship where the heart is secure and safe. That's a huge emphasis here is that security and safety. And then if that, if that is able to, to come together, because we have the willingness over here in the Plato person to make this work and we have the magic of the Queen of Wands and the love of the Page of Cups, there is this um, potential for a either very loving friendship, you know, if these two are able to um, stay true to their feelings and to, to respect the needs of the other. There's a really loving friendship or there's a celebration, a union that could come together. A new, you know, a new, um, fresh sense of joy in this connection. So I'm going to get a few animal cards to get you some advice, Aries. I hope this was helpful. Please comment down below and let me know what you think of this format of using
the two people. Um, obviously, if this did not resonate, it would be surprising that you're still here. Um, but feel free to check out your moon rising Venus signs. Um, this is a love reading, so I don't do north node, but you could check north node if it's a destined connection. But the um, for sure, check out your Venus and your moon, I feel, specifically... And there may be more messages there for you. Okay, so can I get um, some guidance here? All right, we have the tiger. And it says divine timing. Good things come to those who wait. I think the divine timing aspect is going to be really, and that's what the tower is indicating here. There is that aspect of divine timing. And with something that is fated or meant to be or, you know, what, Plato believes that this relationship is, um, divine timing is going to play a big part. And there's a lot of, I'm getting there's a lot of lurking in the shadows before this relationship comes to light. I feel like there was something written there on Dolly's part about that. Um, so yeah, there is this kind of darker period of this relationship potentially. Now, if you've already been through that, and you are very close to the tower, or the tower is happening now, this could be a relationship that comes into union fairly soon. Um, so you, it's for you to know the timing. And then we have field mouse, success, believe in yourself and dare to dream big. And I feel that this is here for both of you. I feel that both of you are wanting the success both of you want this relationship but it's a matter of you know working out some stuff here there's just things that have to happen there's things that have to change in order to make this work i also feel that there's some guidance here to stay away from picking at the small things, you know, how much, if you're the Plato person, how much the Dolly person communicates or, you know, try to stay big picture with this relationship. There may be some comfort actually in astrology, like in, in knowing transits and things like that, that there's like periods when it's just not right to unite. That might be helpful information, especially for um, the Plato person in this relationship. Okay, so that is what I have for you. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Visit the description box below for information on all of my services. And we'll see you very soon. Take care.